January 1965 was an incredible time for music. Rock and roll had taken over the world with a variety of different sounds to choose from. Depending on where in the world one was listening from might affect what you were listening to. Let's break down the music scene of January 1965 and look at some of the driving forces behind the explosion of early rock soundscape that shaped the year and how the music scene was reflecting and affecting the culture and society at large. The year kicked off with the Beatles' I Feel Fine at number one. The recording includes one of the earliest uses of guitar feedback in popular music. Fans remained glued to their radios over the 10 days between the singles unveiling on radio and its retail release. On January 23rd, Downtown hits number one in the US singles chart, making Petula Clark the first British female vocalist to reach the coveted position since the arrival of the Beatles. The soft-spoken session guitarist who plays on the track will go on to form a band just three years later and will eventually knock the Beatles' Abbey Road out of the number one spot. Do you know who it is? Stay tuned to find out. January 12th, a Brian Epstein introduces performances by The Zombies and Jerry and the Pacemakers from London on the very first Hullabaloo TV musical variety series. The Zombies, She's Not There and Tell Her No are both in the charts as they perform on several musical TV shows, including Shindig in January 1965. In the UK, other chart toppers include The Rolling Stones' Heart of Stone, The Kinks' All Day and All of the Night, and Marianne Faithful's As Tears Go By. In another January 1965 music happening, The Who make their first appearance on British television programme, Ready Steady Go. The vibrant shift of 1965 dresses was a fashion breakthrough. The early 1960s saw an extension of the late 1950s elegance, but with the optimism taking the world by storm. Bold colours went hand in hand with the optimistic music of 1965. As the music states, everyone felt fine. Loved going downtown where the boutiques played rock music and shopping was a bustling social event to see and be seen. The iconic music of England in 1965 was influencing the iconic fashion scene and vice versa. People flocked to places like Carnaby Street in London. The Austin Morris 1100 was the best-selling car of 1965 in the UK. The dominant vehicle in America in 1965 was the Impala which broke the million unit mark. Like the cars, the music coming out of America was somewhat different. Across the pond in the US, the music being made had a more rhythm and blues feel and artists out of Motown dominated the charts. In addition to Motown was Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. This was in prime display on a number one song of 1965, The Righteous Brothers, You've Lost That Loving Feeling. The version has been described as one of the best records ever made and the ultimate pop record. New albums released and well received in January 1965 are Rolling Stones number no. two, The Four Tops, Ray Charles Live in Concert, The Zombies, The Ike and Tina Turner Show, and Odetta Sings Dylan. Other noteworthy events on the music scene include January 17th, the Rolling Stones drummer Charlie Watts' book, Ode to a High Flying Bird, a tribute to jazz great Charlie Parker, is published. And January 21, 
The animal's show at New York's Apollo Theater is canceled after the U.S. Immigration Department forces the group to leave the theater. In early 1965, the world is still mostly wholesome with the sound of music appearing in New York for the first time. NASA launches Ranger 9 lunar space probes, and on Gemini 3, two astronauts launch into Earth's orbit. My Fair Lady and Mary Poppins are the big winners at the Academy Awards, with Chim Chim Cherry winning Best Song. Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang appear on the cover of Time magazine. Chim chiminy, chim chiminy, chim chim chiri. When you're with a sweep, you're in glad. The animals perform their hit song, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood, on the January 24th, 1965 episode of The Ed Sullivan Show to a screaming crowd. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. At the Marquee Club in London, the Yardbirds, who still have Eric Clapton in their lineup, play on January 22nd. Their five live Yardbirds LP was recorded live at the Marquee Club and is currently selling well in January 1965. The incredible lineup at the Marquee Club includes legendary bands like the Moody Blues, Rod Stewart, and T Bone Walker. Additionally, they feature Jazz Wednesdays and Gospel and Blues Sundays on their schedule. Back in the US, the Beach Boys play a show in Richmond, Virginia on January 3rd. This was apparently the last day of this stressful tour. Afterwards, they returned home to complete the Today album. Another Beatles Christmas show tour, which ran from December 24th, 1964 to January 16th, 1965, at London's Hammersmith Odeon. The Beatles performed two skits and performed some of their hits. After the tour ends, they fly to Switzerland to, to learn to ski for their upcoming film, later to be titled Help. There John plays two songs for George Martin, one ends up being the title track for the film. Later, John would call the song the first heavy song the Beatles ever did. And the other one was Fast Paced, a hard hitter about a girl who was leaving the singer flat, Ticket to Ride. The girl that's driving me mad is going away. Earlier, we looked at Petula Clark's hit Downtown and the session guitarist who played on the studio track. Did you guess who it was? one of England's most prolific session guitarists during this period, who played on many of England's most famous singles at Decca Studios, including Downtown, was none other than Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. Led Zeppelin II was the band's first album to hit number one in the US, knocking the Beatles Abbey Road 1969 twice from the top spot, where it remained for seven weeks. Well, that's it for January 1965. I hope you enjoyed this trip down music history lane, exploring the music scene and other interesting facts. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. Please leave a comment below.